Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and we're about to turn on the HTC Hero for the very first time. I've just put in the SIM card, and I've never actually started up an Android device for the first time. I've used the platform before, but you're going to see with me what it's like to turn on the Hero for the first time. So let's get a little bit closer. It's fully charged. It's ready to go. So let's turn it on and see what happens. Hero. Okay, in the HTC font. Okay, little little Android guy popped up in the O. Oh, there he is again. <laughs> HTC sound. Got some glowing going on here on the buttons. Screen locked. Drag down to unlock. Okay. Whoa. I'm assuming there's going to be some kind of first time setup. Screen looks really crisp, by the way. Select your language, English. Yep, that's me. Next. Using the on-screen keyboard, learn how to quickly and accurately enter text using autocorrection and symbol shortcuts. Don't worry about pressing the right key every time. Kind of like the iPhone keyboard. Tap here to start typing. OK. Um, touch inside the S circle to enter S. OK. S, I, it's kind of guiding me around. S, I, M, let's just say simple. Simple. This is what you just typed. This is what we suggest. <laughs> Tapping the space key accepts the suggestion, like the iPhone and many other Windows mobile devices. Simpler has been corrected to simple. Now you can type quickly and let the keyboard do the corrections. OK, next. Learn how to quickly enter accented characters. Press and hold. This is just like the on-screen keyboards on the uh, HTC devices, like the Diamond 2 and the Touch Pro 2. Press and hold the A key. OK, I just did. Oh, it says drag to. OK, it says press and hold the F key. F key. Dollar sign. Tap the close button to exit. Hide away the keyboard. Connecting to Wi-Fi may improve the speed of the setup process. Would you like to connect now? Sure. And here is my network. I'm going to type in the password. All right, so I'm connected to the Wi-Fi network. Very nice. Next, let's see what's next. You can automatically sync mail, contacts, and calendar events by setting up one or more the following exchange types. Uh, account types, awesome. It has Microsoft Exchange, which is terrific because I use that religiously. So I'm going to enter in my exchange information. All right, so connected to the Exchange server, and it's asking me, do I want to sync mail, contacts, and calendar? And of course I do. It doesn't look like task is on, on here, which is kind of interesting. Let's go to Next, Processing. OK, set up accounts. You can automatically, and we're back to this screen, so we can set up a Gmail account if, if you use Gmail in addition. But we're going to go to Next, since I already set up Microsoft Exchange. Looks like the trackball lights up. Set up social networks. Set up your favorite social networks to send and receive updates using the built-in features of your people and album. Well, I'm definitely going to put in Twitter. I'm not sure about Facebook and uh, Flickr just yet. So if I do Twitter, I'm going to put my Twitter handle in. And uh, let me put the password in there. OK, put the password in and log into Twitter. Cool. Logged into Twitter. Click Next. Connect location service provider applications with your approximate location without using GPS. Allow Google location services to collect anonymous and aggregate location data. Collection will occur regardless of whether any... Yeah, sure, whatever. Uh, to learn more pers about doing the following, go to htc.com slash hero and click Finish. And I think we are going to be taken into the Sense UI interface. Awesome. So here we are in the Sense UI. And uh, after I've gotten some time to play with it and learn more about it, you'll see the next video, which is coming soon. So overall, a pretty great uh, first time setup experience. I like how it walks you through creating a new account and adding your Twitter account and Facebook. I like how it walks you through how to actually use the keyboard. I think some people may misunderstand the keyboard and think you have to be extremely precise when typing. When that's not the case, you can hit approximate areas and it will still understand what you're trying to say. We'll be back soon with more on the HTC Hero. That's it for now.